Hello friends, today I'm going to solve with good problem number 912, sort an array. In this problem, we are given an array of integers, nums, and we need to sort this array and return the sorted array. But what we are said is we are not allowed to use built-in function. And we need to solve this problem in O of n log of n time complexity and using the smallest space complexity possible. Now let's look at uh, how we could solve this using a built-in function if we had used a built-in function that would be the sort function in javascript and this would return as a sorted array and this function the sort function in javascript it takes n log of n time complexity and this function actually implements merge sort so merge sort which is in worst case and best case log of n time and log of n time complexity so what are we going to do is we are going to implement merge sort to solve sort these uh, nums array so now let's see how what is merge sort and how we could perform this sort so we are given this example here what happens is merge sort is a divide and conquer um kind of solution where we divide each of these um integers in this array into uh into chunks until and unless we find a sorted chunk so basically what the, does that mean is uh, we divide these two array this array into two arrays by dividing it from a midpoint so this is a midpoint so i divide these two array into five uh, this single array into two arrays which consist of elements five two and three one now furthermore what i do is i split these two array uh, into more smaller chunks so now i have two i have the f integer five and then three and finally uh, one now each of these arrays is only single length right and we know that uh, this array in itself is sorted because it only has one uh, element in it so now what we do is we merge these two um, arrays so while we perform the merge we uh, we uh, sort those arrays uh, while perform merging so so while we merge we sort these arrays so now we got this sorted array and we merge these two arrays as well and we get our sorted array which is one three and then finally what we do is we perform a merge sort that is we merge and finally this is what we get as our result which is a sorted array so how are we actually sorting while we merge so what we do is we ch uh, check each of these elements since it, both of these arrays are already sorted let's look at them here since both of these are already sorted so what we do is we start from the first index first index and we take the smallest of these two values so what is the smallest one well one is the smallest one right so one goes at the very beginning and then the pointer shifts in this array now which is the smallest one two is the smallest one so we add the value two and then now the pointer shifts to this value and which is the smallest one three right so we add the value three and now we have exited the pointers in this array so uh, the remaining values in this array we add it to the end of this array and then finally we get the sorted array so basically this is how we perform merge sort now in our case uh, we are actually not going to divide the array but rather we are going to find uh, the index where we could divide the array so what is the index of this uh, sub array so basically it starts from index 0 and ends at index 0 1 right and this starts at index 2 and ends at index 3 right so that is what we are going to find out and then while sorting we are going to use those indices and um, that is when uh, we will create a new sub array while sorting and then finally merge our solution so now let's look at our solution and try to 
solve it so we are going to create two functions first of all we need to divide so we are going to create a divide function okay um, and this divide will have a start index and an end index and if uh, as we saw we are going to divide until and unless the length is equals to one right so that means if start is equals to end we just return this will become our edge case if not what we do is we keep on dividing so divide so we divide uh, from the end mid right so we are going to find the mid value um, so math dot floor of end mine okay start plus end divide by two this gives us our mid value and that is from where we are going to divide so now we call our divide function again with the start and the mid becomes its end and then again divide starting from mid plus one and the end so so far we have we are uh, good with our divide function but after we divide after the divide is complete uh, we need to sort it and then merge it right we need to merge it so that is why we need a new function again that is to sort and merge so let's call it um, sort and merge function So for this sort function, we are going to sort two arrays and we need to know the start and end of each of these arrays, right? And well, basically what happens is um, all we need is all right, so we end up here when we find single array and array with the only single elements. So what we do is we return back, right? So while we are returning, what's the, the value of start and end? Well, basically that would be, that would not be a single element. So we return, uh, we return back from here and this becomes our like um, start and and we'll have at least two elements so uh, what are we going to do is we are going to pass the mid the left the right and the mid value only so left is equals to the start the right is equals to the end and the mid is the mid value that we found and that will be used to sort our array because we are dividing it into left and the right halves right so these two halves we are going to make it from here so what we do is uh, we need our left our right and our mid value so let's call this from here sort in merge function with start and in the mid values so now here we are actually going to split our array we are going to create a sub array so let left array is equals to uh, nums splice left comma mid plus one so this would give us a um, sub array starting from left and ending at mid plus one with the index mid plus one not included so basically that would be left to mid and then right array equals to nums dot splice at mid plus one to r plus one so now we have two sub arrays we need to merge these two sub arrays and um sort those before we merge right and we are what are we doing is we will be merging in place so that is we will be merging in the nums array itself so let's create our like indices first 
so i would point to the start of um, left array j pointing at start of right array and k would point to the index left at nums array so that would basically mean that uh, it uh, k will start from l and um, go until it reaches the index r because that is the maximum length right left to right and um, these two arrays the max length is of course left uh, it ranges from left to right and only between that place we are going to make the sort so that makes sense right now what are we going to do is we loop over um, um, left array the length and j is less than right array length and now if um, left array index i is less than right array at index j okay so so what we're doing is we are um, adding sorting it so our left error if the index at left is if the value at left is uh, less than the value at the right at index j then we are going to put that element in our nums array first else nums k plus plus equals to okay right array j plus plus and then finally while all the remaining elements is left array that length then nums k plus plus would be equals to um left array r plus plus and similarly for the right array if index j is still less than the right array that is we have still few elements left in the right array then we are going to add all of those to our sorted array so now that we have sorted our nums array um, now let's call our divide function um, divide with index 0 and then the end would be the length right and we return our nums array let's run our code and look if it works fine okay okay so we are actually going to use the slice operation here and um, what we could do is we don't need the value of k rather than using the integer k we could just reuse the value left l here so i'm just going to replace k with l and l would run from starting from l to r now let's run our code great let's submit this code now awesome